Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk so much about air, we see that air moves from one place to another. And what happens when air moves from one place to another? That is what we call as wind. So moving air is wind. So movement of air from one region to another creates winds. Now the question is, what causes air to move from one region to another? Why does air move? Now the first question is, from where does air move? So air always tend to move from a region of high pressure towards a region of low pressure. So if you have a high pressure region and if you have a low pressure region, then what happens? Air tends to move from high pressure region to low pressure region. Now the next obvious question is why? Why does air move from high pressure to low pressure regions? Now here we will make use of the very simple concept of pressure. So we all know what is pressure. Pressure is nothing but force per unit area. So when we talk about a high pressure region, what happens? Here pressure is more, therefore the force experienced by the particle would also be more in this region. So in the high pressure region, force experienced by the particles of the wind is more. Now when the force experienced by the particles in this region, let us say that this is a particle of air in the high pressure region. Now since this is high pressure region, therefore this particle is experiencing high force. Whereas let's say this is a particle in the low pressure region or let's say that this particle, there is another particle in the low pressure region and this particle will experience a smaller force because the pressure is lower here. So overall, where is the particle experiencing more force? So obviously in the high pressure region. So wherever you experience more force, the particle will move according to that force. For example, if you have a box like this, box lying on the floor. Now let's say that you push this box from this side. And your friend is pushing this box from this side. But your force is a lot more than that of your friend's force. So in that case, in which direction the box will move? So the box will move in this direction because the force in this direction is more. So the similar, similar case happens here. But since the particles experience more force in the high pressure region, therefore the particles tend to move from high pressure to low pressure regions. And when all the particles of the air moves from high pressure to low pressure regions, then what happens? The air as a whole moves from high pressure region to low pressure region and these, this creates winds. So based on this concept of air movement or wind, let's understand the concept of sea breeze and land breeze. So what are these sea, what is sea breeze and land breeze? Now you would be able to experience these um, sea breeze or land breeze in the coastal areas. Now what happens in the coastal areas, you have land as well as the sea at the same place. Like you can actually feel the interface between the land and the sea. So have you ever noticed that in the coastal areas, you actually feel cool air from sea to land during daytime and this cool air from sea towards land during the daytime is called sea breeze. Now let's see what causes these sea breeze. Now what happens during the daytime? So during daytime, the if, if you compare the land as well as the water, so you see that during daytime with the heat, the land gets heated up quickly than that of the sea. Now, if you can try out this experiment at your home, take two similar balls, fill one bowl with water and fill the other bowl with sand. Now, put both of them in the sun for maybe two to three hours. After some time, you would observe that the sand became hotter than that of the water. That's because land gets heated up quickly or more quickly than that of the water. So as a result, what would happen? The land gets heated up quickly. Now, when the land gets heated up quickly, what happens? The air above the land gets heated up. Now, warm air is less dense. As a result, the warm air moves up. So less dense air will tend to move up. So therefore this warm air which is less dense it starts moving up. So as a result what happens in this region. So 
a vacuum is created here because the air which was present exactly above the land that air is moving up because the air has become hot. So what is happening here? A vacuum is getting created or we can say that a low pressure region is getting created. As a result, what would happen? The air pressure, so here there is high pressure region. So here somewhat low pressure region will get created. So comparatively, this, this region is at a higher pressure. Now we know that air always tend to move from high pressure region towards low pressure region. So therefore, this air which, was, which is comparatively cool. So this cool air will move from sea towards the land. And this cool air is termed as the sea breeze. So this is called sea breeze and this sea breeze flows during the daytime because this entire phenomenon happens during the daytime. Okay, so now this cool air started moving this side. So as a result, what happens? Again, here in this region, low pressure was created. So when low pressure is created, so what happens? The air which is present here, that air tends to move this side. Right? So the air above, it tends to come down from high pressure to low pressure. So again, when this air comes down, so what happens at this area? So here low pressure gets created. So the air from this region tends to flow to this region. So as a result, it is like a complete cycle. And this cycle results in the formation of sea breeze during the daytime. That is why you would have experienced this cool sea breeze in the coastal areas during daytime, which you normally do not experience in other areas. So you can see this phenomenon of sea breeze only in coastal areas or areas with adjacent large water bodies, where you have land and as well as water adjacent to each other. So that's sea breeze. So in a similar fashion, just the reverse thing happens during the night. So at the night time, you see land breeze. That means at night time, air, land gets colder quickly than that of the sea. Right? So the, just the reverse cycle happens. Now since land becomes cold quickly, so what happens? Comparatively, sea becomes hotter. So if sea is comparatively hotter, so again the hot air rises up. So a low pressure area is created here. Therefore, air moves from high pressure area to low pressure area. So again, when air moves from this place, so what happens here? Again, low pressure area gets created. So from high pressure, air will come here. As a result here, low pressure area will be created. So again, air will move here. So that's how it will happen in this anti-clockwise direction. So in this case, what is land breeze? So land breeze would be the cold air which is flowing from land towards the sea at night. So therefore, if you uh, sit near a coastal area at night, you do not feel that much of cold breeze because the breeze is not coming from the sea towards the land. This time, the breeze is flowing from the land towards the sea. So just the reverse thing that of that what had happened during the daytime. So now with this, so if you look at the concept behind land breeze and sea breeze, you see that it is just based on one simple fact that air gets warm, warm air is less dense, so it moves up. The mo moment there is some movement of air, what happens? Low pressure regions get created and whenever there is a difference in pressure between two regions, further movement of air happens. So with these two concepts together, the entire movement of land breeze and sea breeze takes place. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.